If you're running a retail AI agency, you know the headache of manually billing clients every single month. You're probably spending hours calculating usage, creating invoices, and chasing payments. And let's be honest, it's a complete mess. What's worse, you can even add a proper markup on top of your retail cost without making your pricing look messy. But today, I'm going to show you how to completely automate your client billing process using a software called ChatDash so that you can focus on growing your agency instead of drowning in admin work. Okay, let me walk you through how this works step by step. First thing you need to do is go to chatdash.com and sign up. For those who don't know already about Chatdash, Chatdash is a wide label client dashboard platform that you can use it for your retail AI agents. So once you log into the dashboard, you will see this kind of interface. And in order to use our Stripe building feature, you need to upgrade the premium plan. So this feature is not available on our trial, but we do have 30 days money back guarantee. So there's no risk for you guys. So just try it out and see if it works for you guys. So first thing you need to go to Stripe billing after upgrading to premium plan. And you will see this, you know, connect button here, click this connect button and you enter your country code here and connect Stripe. Now you'll be prompted to enter your business details uh, in Stripe and add your necessary information, your Stripe email and password. And if you have save information, you can use it. I have one, so I'll go with this. If you were to create a new business, you need to input all the required information. Stripe asks you to input, okay? Please don't skip and please input all the required documents and you know just fill out every field. Otherwise, we will not be able to process payments for you guys. So I need to enter VAT number here. It's optional, but you know, I will just enter it. And for industry, select software and continue. And for the climate commitment, I will just go with no thanks because I'm broke. And before submitting your form, please check all your information from your website, your public details, personal details, and even the payout details as well. And once you have checked all the information, click agree and submit. So you will be redirected to the chat dash dashboard again. And once you go to Stripe building menu, you will see this prompt here. Your Stripe account is connected and ready to go. So once you have connected your Stripe account to chat dash, you will see this another Stripe account created in your Stripe account. So right now, chat slash is my business. Chat dash LLC is chat dash. So think of it as creating a new Stripe account under chat dash. So that's why, you know, there's a little chat dash logo on the bottom right of my newly created Stripe account. So even here in dashboard, if I select this Stripe account, it says chat dash LLC has access to new tools to help manage your account. So basically we will help you manage client building for your AI agency. Okay, now let's get back to chat dash dashboard and you want to create a subscription pro product inside chat dash. Click create product and give your product name voice AI basic, let's say, and I will just leave product description blank. And for pricing model, chat dash supports two types. First is base subscription fee and second is usage based. So for base subscription fee, you will charge your client fixed cost up to certain amount of usage. So let's say I want to charge $100 per month, right? And in this $100 per month, monthly subscription, I would allow our users to get, I don't know, like 500 minutes by default. And once the usage exceeds 500 minutes per month, I want to charge, that's where overage price comes in. 10 cents per minute, 10 cents, which is $0.1 per minute. Another way to charge your client is basically usage base. So instead of charging your client monthly subscription, you charge your client purely on the usage itself. So I want to charge my client, let's say 50 cents per minute every single month. And let's create it. And I have this product created in my Stripe building menu. So if I go back to my connected account in Stripe, if I go to product catalog, I see voice AI basic product is created. But please 
don't touch anything on this Stripe side because we'll manage everything on Chatash. So I just wanted to show this because we are creating a product in Stripe for you. So after creating your first Stripe product, what do you want to do? Let's go to clients and you want to basically assign this Stripe product to one of your clients projects, right? So let's say, let me go into my, one of my retail AI projects and go to project settings here. And there's a menu called Stripe building, go there. And in here, the product we just created pops up and select this and I can set the start date as well, but I'm going to just select today start date and let me assign. Yeah. So this product is successfully assigned to this project. And you can always cancel the subscription from your agency dashboard. So now you have connected your Stripe account and created your first Stripe product and assigned to one of your retail AI clients. But after adding this, how's the client journey actually looks like? So let me explain. So after assigning this Stripe product to your client's project, what you want to do is basically share your client dashboard information. If you have added your custom domain, the custom domain slash login is going to be the the login page of for your agency and in clients tab you can always get the client information login id and password so you would send your client first your white label client dashboard and your client's login id and password so let me log in as a client so that we can see how the experience look like from a client view so i'll copy this login id and sign in as a client. So as you can see, as soon as I log into the client dashboard, this prompt pops up saying that I need to add a payment information to play around with this dashboard. So your client will not be able to do anything else other than adding their payment. So if I click like every everywhere else, it doesn't do anything. So your client will only be able to add payment or log out. So that's how you uh, get the payment information. And let me add payment here and your client will see this uh, portal. And let me actually add payment information as well. So my payment information and go back to chat dash. Now I get access because I have added my payment information as a client. And your client will be able to see the subscription details in this menu called subscription details. And in here, they can see current billing period and tour usage and tour price they need to pay to your agency. And also they can always go to their client portal, customer portal, that they can manage subscription as well. Now we have connected our Stripe account here and we created our subscription product in Chatash and we have assigned to this Stripe product to one of our client's projects. And as you can see, there's one active subscription here. So you send client dashboard URL and your client's login information and your client will log in through your client portal to, through your white label client portal with the login information you give you have given to them and your client will be able to add their payment information and once they add their payment everything is streamlined from there and chatash will track every single usage of your retail ai agent just imagine never having to manually calculate client billing again no more spreadsheets no more manual invoicing no more payment reminders just clean, automated, professional building for your retail AI agency. Hit the subscribe button for more agency automation tips, and I'll see you in the next video.